My name is Maria. I am a graphic designer. A few years back, one of my neighbors was telling me about how she received the sweetest Christmas gift and she absolutely loved it. And it was Names of Christ ornaments. And she explained that these have a different name of Christ for each day leading up to Christmas. And it has a scripture that goes along with it. So you can draw closer to Christ and really focus on the true meaning of Christmas. So after she told me this, I went out and I bought some blank wood ornaments. I decided that I was going to make these same ornaments. I designed these ornaments last year. I started thinking, how am I gonna get the, this design onto the ornaments? And I thought about etching it in wood, but I don't have like any type of wood engraver or anything like that. I thought, I wonder if you can iron on designs onto the wood. I printed these out backwards. I ironed them onto the ornaments and they turned out so cute. I gave them away as gifts. I'll tell you step-by-step step how I did the wood ones. But first I just wanted to tell you that you can actually just print them out as well. So I have two different versions. One is just regular printed text so that younger kids can read them. The other version is this pretty calligraphy design. So if you want to do it that way, it's super simple. Just print them out in color on cardstock, cut them out, put a little string on them, and you can hang them on your tree or make them into a garland. I was thinking they would be great for primary kids. Give them like a little thing of embroidery floss, have the kids cut them out and use them as a family. I've included the SVG file so you can cut them on your cutting machine. These ones are great to decorate your home with. You could laminate them and reuse them year after year. If you want to try the wood version, you can purchase my files. I actually have it all stepped up on an eight and a half by 11 sheet and they're reversed. So you can just print them out. You're going to print your design reversed. Then you're going to cut it out and then you're going to put it on top of your wood ornament and you're going to press it with an iron. When you're done pressing with the iron, let it cool all the way, and then go ahead and carefully peel off the backing. Then you're gonna add a top coat. I use this Min Wax water-based polycrylic for my top coat, and I just put it on with a sponge brush. I let one layer dry, and then I did a second top coat. Then you just put the string in and you're ready to go. So another option of making ornaments is not the names of Christ. It has the 2023 youth theme on it. I can do all things through Christ. That one you could use as a gift tag and, or you could also use the reverse files that I have, print them out on the transfer paper and iron them onto ornaments as well. The first set that I did turned out really great. For some reason, I had more problems with the new transfer paper. The nice thing is if you have problems with this, you can actually just sand off the part that you mess up on and iron it on again. Some of the tips. On the iron-ons that I have, you'll see a random little pine cone design. If you cut it out, that can be your sample. Iron it onto some type of different wood. There are some variables. I don't want to say it's fail proof. So this can be tricky, but they turned out great. I just had to redo some of them. If you slide it a little bit, it's going to take your design and it's going to smear the design. And there's these little holes in your iron and so those parts didn't get ironed on well so it kind of made like little bubbles. If the temperature is not hot enough, it won't stick well. It's kind of hard to peel it up. You've got half fingernails to peel up that backing. I hope you're feeling brave enough to try the wood ornaments. Maybe I scared you and you won't even try them. But if you are brave enough, they can turn out really cool. And if not, just print them out and do the other version. And they're lovely too. Happy holidays, everybody.